All right, there's a couple of things left that we need to talk about just to finish up the anatomy. And the first one is we've talked about most of the muscles except for some of the intrinsic muscles. And I need to explain the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic. An intrinsic muscle starts and ends within that part of the body. So intrinsic muscles of the foot, like the extensor digitorum brevis, start here in the foot and then extend out to these four toes and then it's done. So if you're gonna find that, what you would ask people to do is to extend their toes up and push against you and then you should be able to see this little muscle belly get all kinds of hard and then you can follow the tendons as they come down. This is an intrinsic muscle because it starts in the foot and it ends in the foot. When we talk about extrinsic muscles, extrinsic come from an other part of the body. So when before we talked about the, all the muscles that come from all the compartments, the anterior, the lateral, and the two posterior compartments, and then they all come into the foot, those are extrinsic muscles. So they start in one body part and then they end in a different body part. The majority of the muscles that we have in the foot are extrinsic muscles. They start up here in the lower leg and come down. Now we do have some smaller intrinsic muscles like lumbricals and, and these brevis muscles and everything. You need to know what the muscles are and what they do, but from a palpation standpoint, they're really too small or too deep in the foot to be able to palpate them well. So the really, the, this brevis muscle right here, the extensor digitorum brevis, you need to be able to palpate it and understand where it is, but not the rest of them. And then the last thing that we're gonna talk about are your arches. The foot, the human foot has four arches. Two of them are longitudinal arches the lateral longitudinal arch and the medial longitudinal arch. And when we say longitudinal, we're thinking up and down and long, right? Longitudinal. So lateral and medial. When we think about the medial, most people think about this as being kind of like the arch of their foot because that's where it runs. And then we also have two others that go perpendicular to them. So the metatarsal arch, which really runs along your metatarsal heads, and then the transverse arch. And again, the transverse arch is very much part of what people would consider to be the arch of your foot. And, and these are four important structures that help make sure that your foot is held in place and that all the structures are where they need to be and that it's compressing all the different structures underneath and holding everything together. And one last thing that I haven't talked about really is your plantar fascia. And that is really part of what's going on with these arches, although not the exact same. So the arches are all fascia, your plantar fascia, weird, is fascia. And that starts on the anterior inferior portion of your calcaneus, and then extends through your foot going to all of these met heads. And it's very, again, important in maintaining the structure of your foot. And if people have problems with it, going into dorsiflexion and then pulling their toes back really puts it on tension. And you, if you do this to yourself, you should be able to feel how one ticklish that might be, but also how tight these structures get in your foot. Your plantar fascia really gets tight when you're in that position, which is why a lot of people complain of pain if they have plantar fasciitis in their first steps in the morning, they'll, they'll complain of pain right here and feel like it's maybe tearing or something like that. Um, and or if they're sitting for long periods of time or after long tight parts of activity. And then if they roll it or do something like that, it'll get better. But if you pull them into full dorsiflexion and then extend their toes and push on it, especially right where it inserts here on the calcaneus, they will not like that at all. It'll feel, people complain of it and say it feels like, like a hot poker is going into their foot or they feel like a t-shirt's tearing or something when they have that, when they take those first steps. And typically that's because when we sleep, we sleep with our feet in a plantar flex position, which is what allows that plantar fascia to heal in a shortened position. So when we take our steps in the morning, we're actually tearing all of that tissue that just healed over the nighttime. So the best way to take care of it is to have people wear something called a night splint that keeps your foot in this neutral position. So that way it heals in a stretched position instead of in a shortened position. So that way when you take that boot off and you take your first steps in the morning, you're not actually tearing all of the tissue that just healed itself overnight.